fortune cookies for fortune cookie Friday. Fortune cookie Friday. It is April 24th. I think it's a Friday. I'm not sure. Days are all running in together, but I do know it is Friday, and that means Fortune Cookie Friday. Let's get into it. So how's everyone doing? It's Dennis, just trying to live. Truer words have never been spoken. But it is Friday. We've made it through another week. Doesn't mean much. But, still above ground. Uh, excuse the attire. It's been a hell week at work. And, still can't really leave the house. So, this is what I look like. My apologies to the viewers. Now, I had my phone up here just so I could see it, and I don't really like that. So, I moved it. But yeah, we're going to get into it today. I look like carp, but it is what it is, right? It's Friday. Trying to stay positive is trying to live through the day. Filming this today on the GoPro Hero 7. Just not happy with how the DSLR is working out. Trying to do a little bit better scenery and encompass things. As you can see here behind me, I've got the uh, Digital Earth Live. It's pretty cool. It's got like satellite tracking of ISIS. It's got real-time cloud data and storms. It's to hold me over until I finally upgrade to the uh, Geochrome Digital 4K. That's going to be awesome, but I just can't spend $400 on a prop for the most part yet. So, I'm doing it with that, and I love Globe, so that thing was just awesome. I, I'm very happy with it. puts the old TV to use. Let's see, what else happened this week that I'm kind of positive about? Oh, does that come up? Hey, that does. Let's not do that. Picked up a new to me 2001 Victory V92C bike, ready to go. Just need some warm weather. But yeah, so I'll be doing some videos on that as well coming up. Never owned a Victory before. How's everybody else doing throughout this uh, the Rona lockdown that most of us are on? I know a lot of states are starting to come off of it, which is great. We here in Northern Illinois, our governor has. Extended our stay-at-home order through June. <laughs> yeah. It's getting tough, I'll tell you right now. Um, yeah, I don't want to overshare too much, but it's getting rough. But anyway, let's dig into this box of fortune cookies so I can put it down, get my hands into the frame. And let's see what we can do with this week's Fortune Cookie Friday. Just random pull one out here. That one. Put this over here off to the side. Now I have no idea if it's in frame or not because I moved my phone so I've got no visual reference on it here. So forgive me. Let's see what we got here. Story says... Now is the time to set your sights high and go for it. Okay. Can I get that? I don't know if that's in there or not. I hope it is. But anyway, yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. Now is the time to set your sights high and go for it. Now, how can I turn that around to something positive for me today? 
Well, I'm hoping that that actually comes true because I've always, well, not always, and over the past six months or so, I've been looking for a studio space again. I miss having a dedicated space ever since I closed the last studio, which bankrupted me. 5,000 square foot studio, that was, a, that was a big monthly chunk of change to come up with. And after three years, it just, I couldn't do it anymore, so that was just under 200K. Lush! And if there was a flushing sound there, thank you, Epidemic Sound. Not a sponsor, but a great service. But yes, ever since that, I've, I've been looking for some place to do one for these vlogs and just kind of set up as my own space. Because working from home for the past year and a half, it's gotten to me. It's not that I don't love the family, don't get me wrong, but we're cooped up all the time. There's no creativity. There's no place I can escape to to get creative and just be me. So I've been looking. And there's really nothing where I've moved to that's close by. I found a place that's about 40 minutes away, really inexpensive, just a big 20 by 20 room. That would have worked. But how often would I really use it, having to drive 40 minutes there? I'm not going to go after work. And that's just not something I wanted to do for just a weekend. So I passed on that. Found one about 15 minutes away. It's a garage with an upstairs loft. Really cheap. Can have power put in it for me. And I've got one person in front of me that if they decide to pass on it, I'll get it. And it would be really great because I can move the woodworking stuff into there as well. I can do editing upstairs in the loft. Even use that as a temporary office if I want to go work out of there during the day. And then film the vlogs all in one spot and not have to move everything around. So I'm hoping that comes through. So that's one of the small steps of setting sights high during this lockdown period I've done. And that's a great, it's a great thought as well because this is the time we can't look at today and tomorrow. I found that if I do that, I get bogged down in the details that, man, tomorrow's Saturday and I can't really go out. I can't go visit people. And that gets to me. So I guess now taking that and setting the sights higher than that. I'm not looking at tomorrow. I'm hopefully now, well, now we're looking at next month. And there are going to be some restaurants already open. Golf courses are going to allow open. So, yeah, set the sights high doesn't necessarily, I guess, have to go to a physical thing specifically in your life. We can set those sights higher for a mental release, something that we want to do and we look forward to doing. And set a goal for it. And I'm not sure how well that will work for me, but I've got one I'm hoping for, and I'm hoping that comes through. And in other areas, it just set those sights and be positive in it. Look for, look for something in your own life that you can focus on that's something you haven't done before. Maybe you're writing short stories or you wanted to learn how to an animate. And then animate. Set a goal for yourselves. Learn how to do something new. Thought about taking up amateur radio? Study and take your technician's exam for it. You want to learn how to crochet or knit? Take that up as well. But set those sights high. Something you normally wouldn't do if you weren't forced to have to reevaluate things. And let's, let's set that goal and go for it. Because the other thing I do realize you got to set a goal and go for it. You can't just have a goal. It's a dream otherwise. you got to take steps to get to it. But aim high. Go for it. That's what I'm going to do. I hope. We'll see. But how's everyone else doing out there? Anybody watching this at all during the lockdown? I mean, I know there's 10 million other videos you could be watching, but hey, if you are watching this, I want to say thank you. Because there are days that, I'll be honest with you, just seeing a view pop up here and there kind of recenters me, brings me back to a back to a place where I can get through the next 24 hours. So I thank you if you're watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully the weather gets warmer. I get the drone out. I picked up a Mavic Mini which is an amazing little drone. 
for how small it really is. I should have brought it out, could have shown it off, but it sits right here, and I'm sure you've seen videos for it. It's a little eh, flyy thing, you know, that big. It's pretty cool. It's really stable. The video that comes out of it's awesome. So I figure that coupled with the bike and just some nice rides out would be some great footage we're going to get. Um, I don't have any animals to put in the video like Ashley. You know, no beans here. I got a lathe. Pressure pots over here. You can't see them, but they're there. Other than that, this is a short one, people. It's been a rough week. But... It's Fortune Cookie Friday, and a fortune always brings good cheer, right? So I'm going to cut that one short here. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to thank everyone for watching, sharing. If you do, you hit that little subscribe button. That would be awesome. Let me know how you like the intro. I'm not sure where I sit on it yet, but it's there. And remember, we're all in it together, like I said before. At the end of the day, we're all going to get through it. Talk to somebody if you need to. Yell at somebody if you have to. Be positive for yourself, though, because you can do it. may not seem like it, but you can. I've got faith in you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay positive. Stay alive and enjoy your life.